Side to side, you can do your circling motions, pretty much whatever feels good to you, doesn't matter. And then we're gonna hug our right knee into our chest, left leg will be out straight, and you're gonna alternate there. So we'll hug one leg to our chest and then the other. So just nice and easy going side to side. If you wanted to have one foot down on the ground, you could, it's up to you. It doesn't make a difference. But you're going nice and controlled, nice and slow. It's Monday, so your body might be like, oh. What are you doing, Pilates? Just nice and easy, side to side. That's all you gotta do. Right? That's the theme of today's workout. Nice and easy. <sighs> I'm just kidding. It's not. But it is. But it is. So we're gonna go one more to each side. And then we're gonna have our right leg up straight. You're gonna grab behind that hamstring or calf. And we're gonna alternate there. So you got one leg coming up and then the other. So it's nice and easy, side to side. Stretching out those hamstrings. Again, if you want one foot down, you can. If it feels better to your back, it doesn't matter. And if you've got a really tight side and you want to hold a little bit longer, do it, right? Because it after the weekend, your hamstrings might be like, oh my gosh. You get weakened, weakened hamstrings. Not weakened, but weakened. What? Doesn't that sound weird? So you're just going side to side. You can even do kind of a double stretch into it if you wanted. So do two pulls. Whatever's feeling good, we're gonna go four more. So here's one, and we'll switch. Here's two, and you can switch. Here is three, and you'll switch. Here's our last one, here's four. And you can relax those legs down, and we're gonna go into slow and controlled bridges. So knees are bent, feet are flat on the ground, you're gonna inhale in through your nose. Exhale, we're gonna press up, squeeze the glutes. Nice, easy inhale. We're gonna come right back down. So exhale, you're gonna press up, squeeze. Nice, easy, inhale, come in back. So again, every time you're pressing up into that bridge, make sure you're squeezing the glutes, right? You're trying to stretch out that lower back. We're waking up that body. <clears throat> we are doing bridges today. So that's good, you know. Everybody loves a good bridge workout on a Monday. I think so. So on our next motion, you're gonna press all the way up. You're gonna stay in that bridge, kind of, but you're just gonna come halfway down and back up. So you're only coming to that half motion and up. It's just nice and controlled. It's not fast. You're still thinking of squeezing the glutes, right? Mm -hmm. Always. And then on your next motion, you're going to stay in that bridge. And now we're going up and down on those tiptoes, right? So you're squeezing the glutes. And now we're thinking about our tiptoes. So it doesn't have to be fast up and down on our tiptoes. Squeeze the calves, stretch out the ankles. And then now you're going to stay on your tiptoes and we're going to do a half bridge again, right? So up and squeeze. So you're half down, up and squeeze, half down, up and squeeze. So really just taking your time with this motion. You've got 10 seconds and then we're just going to do a hold, right? So you're almost there. We'll go two more. You're going to press up, hold that bridge. So you're trying to stay as high as you can on your hips. You're staying up nice and tall on your tiptoes. We're going to hold here for about another five seconds and then we're going to relax down. So you got three, two, one. You're gonna relax hips and heels. So now we got hands behind our head and we're just gonna do a slow and controlled crunch. So nice big inhale in, exhale, we'll lift up. Nice, easy inhale back. So really try to let your head rest into those hands and you're trying to curl that core to help lift you up and keep those elbows wide. So your main focus is to not pull on that neck, right? You want to make sure your abs are doing that work. So it's like almost like you're curling into a C shape with your core, all right? Mm -hmm. Of course you are. So in about 10 seconds, we're going to go into a modified bicycle crunch. So really lifting and pushing that back down. You've got five seconds. Okay, and then on this next crunch, you're going to go into your modified bicycle. So you go opposite elbow, opposite knee. You'll come down and go to the other side. So the whole time, you're gonna have your lower back down to the ground and you're gonna go side to side, nice and controlled. So make sure you got a foot down on the floor, right? Don't get too wild and crazy. It's core my back there all, right? Yeah. So in about 10 seconds, we're gonna add this. Okay? So we're gonna go one more each side. Then you're gonna crunch over, you're gonna go left elbow to your right leg and then you're just gonna extend your right leg up 
and down. So you're holding over, you're just kicking your right leg up and down, right? So a little bit of a different warm up move here today. So you're still keeping that core activated. You're trying to stretch out your leg. You've got five, here's four, here is three, two, and one. So right leg comes down. And you'll crunch over. Now you have your left leg kicking up and back, right? Up and back. If your neck was hurting and this doesn't feel good to crunch, you don't have to, right? But you might as well. It looks like my computer's saying my internet's bad. So if I do cut out, I'll be back, I swear. We got five, here's four, here's three, here's two, here's one, and we're gonna relax down and we're gonna do a single leg bridge. So our right leg's gonna be crossed over to the left. You're gonna inhale in, exhale, push up, nice and easy back, right? So just pressing those hips up as high as you can. You can keep your hands down on the floor. You're just gonna press up as high as you can and then come back. So it's slow and controlled. And we got about 10 seconds and then we're gonna hold. So we are doing single leg bridges, isn't that exciting? I think it is. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you guys don't, you know? So now we're gonna press up, you're gonna hold that bridge, and if you can, you're gonna bring your arms up in the air. So that's gonna kind of mess with your balance here a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And you wanna just hold tight right here. You've got 10 seconds. You've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna relax down. We're gonna switch legs. So right leg's down, left leg is over. Hands are on the ground, exhale, pushing up. Inhale, coming back. Right, and it just feels more natural on your right side. So then goodness, we switch sides, Whew. right? So exhale up, inhale down. Remember, you get to relax, relax in between each bridge. So don't feel like you have to rush the movement. Just taking your time, pressing up and back. Mm -hmm. And in about 10 seconds, we'll get to hold, right? And then we'll probably get started with our workout, maybe. I don't know, we might do one more move just to, just to get you sweat. So press up, you're gonna hold, bring up those arms if you can, and you're gonna hang tight there, right? So this is gonna test your stability a little bit more. We've got 10 seconds, and then we'll relax down, right? You've got five, four, three, two, one, and you're gonna relax, and you're gonna relax. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna kind of do like an app. We've got four different sets. You're going to do some kind of a bridge. We'll do a core move and then you're going to do a hip move. Okay, so our first move that we're going to do, you're going to be up in a bridge the whole time. You're just going to do one leg at a time. Your right leg will come towards you. Your right leg will just tap towards you and tap. So right leg only. We've got 30 seconds like that. Go for it. So you'll exhale when it comes towards you. Inhale back. You're just doing a nice and controlled position, keeping that knee bent, right? If you needed to modify Right? You don't even have to pick your foot up. You could just do a heel raise with that right leg. Okay, you're doing a great job holding that bridge, controlling this motion. We have 10 seconds, then we're going to switch sides. Okay, so nice and controlled, right? Remember, we get to add on to all these moves as we go, so it's just going to get more fun. You got one more, and then your right leg stays down. We're going to go right into the left side. So now your left leg is doing that same motion, coming back and in. Right, and you're keeping it bent at that 90 degree angle, right? You're keeping those hips up and you want to control that leg. You've got 15 seconds, okay? And then we're already going to our core move. How cool is that? 10 seconds, right? And you can even have your arms up on this if you want to mess with that balance more. You've got three, here's two, here is one, and you're gonna relax. So now we're gonna do a figure four Ab move. So you're going to cross your right foot over your left leg. We're focusing on your core bracing here. So you're going to inhale in, exhale, those legs will come down, inhale, you come back. So you want to keep that ankle connected to your left leg the whole time. Okay, so right foot is crossed over to the left. Exhale, you'll come down, inhale, come up, keeping that lower back down that whole time. Okay, so we got 30 seconds per side, really, really focusing on the core, right? Of course you are, of course you are. <laughs> I need a lap track for my workouts, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we got 15 seconds taking your time with this, right? If you wanna add a little bit extra quad work, you could push your right foot against that left leg so it has to kind of fight back, if that makes sense. 
Okay, we got five seconds. Let's do two more. Here's one. We're coming back. Here is two. Coming back, and we're going to switch. So right foot's down. Left leg's crossed over. Right, we start in tabletop. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming back. Right, so on this, you can use that leg that's across to so your left foot to kind of push against your right leg. It makes it a little bit harder, right? It adds a little bit of resistance, and that's why we're crossing that leg over, right? So it might feel good to you, might not feel too hard. That's okay. Okay, we got about 15 seconds, and then we're going to be to our side. Okay, you got 10 seconds to go. Nice and controlled, right? It's kind of like if you were going to do a figure four stretch or not, right? So let's do two more. Here's one, and then back. Here's two. Coming back, you're going to relax, and you're going to go to your side. So what you're going to do on your side, doesn't matter which one you start with, you're going to kick your leg up. It's going to come down. You're going to pulse and kick. So you've got a pulse and kick, right? So it's pulse and pulse and so try to stay nice and tall holding that posture you're gonna pulse in and back pulse in and back right so this is kind of our first level of the series right we're kind of gonna be it's like if you're playing a video game or something you're gonna level up and it gets harder so this is level one we've got four levels to go through isn't that exciting that's something to look forward to so if you have these burned really bad they just get better as you go right so we got 30 seconds and then we're already going to be on the other side. So it's going to be kind of a quick paced workout here where we're trying not to take a lot of breaks, right? Other than when you switch sides, that's pretty much going to be the longest break that you'll get today. Okay, we got 15 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. You're almost there, 10 seconds. You're pulsing, okay. The old pulsing kick, right? We got one more, okay? And then we're going to switch sides once you switch. Remember, we want to try to limit that rest. You're going right into it. So you'll kick, pulse, kick, pulse, kick, right? So you're up and pulse, up, pulse, up, pulse, right? And my internet's freezing, I know. You just stick with it, right? Maybe you'll have to do five minutes on this side if my internet goes out. You never know. That'd be okay. So it's just a kick and pulse motion here again, right? Trying to hold on to this after we're done with this move. We are switching to our level two, right? Oh, right? That's kind of a fun way to think of it. You just keep on moving up different levels, okay? You're doing a great job here. You're over halfway, right? We're rocking and rolling. I even have to read my workout like, what's level two? I don't even know. I better figure it out quickly. You don't want me to make it up. Okay, you're doing a great job. Keep on lifting and back. Lifting and back. You got 15 seconds. And then we're going back to a bridge, right? Mm -hmm. You're almost there, 10 seconds. We got five, so let's do one more. And you're gonna relax, and we're gonna go to our bed. Okay, so we're building onto that single leg position. So you're gonna be in your bridge this whole time. Your right leg will stay down. Your left leg is gonna be doing a circling motion. So you're gonna kick out, you'll kick up, come down, and in. Right, so up, down, and around. Okay, so your left leg is kind of taking control of this position, right? The larger the range of motion you go, the more challenging it is. And in five seconds, we are going to reverse this circle, and it's going to be weird, right? Okay, so you're going to reverse, right? So you're going to reverse, you'll start down, down low, you'll kick up, and bend it, right? Shouldn't be this challenging on this one, but it is. This is tough to add into the circling motion. You've got 10 seconds, right? If at any point a single leg 